What's up, college football fans, NFL draft fans? I am Brandon Lundberg. This is After Further Review. And today we're going to talk about Ohio State running back Travion Henderson. So we finally got a chance to see Travion Henderson at what appears to be 100% health this past week against Rutgers and the prior week against Wisconsin. Uh, it has been his injury history over the past couple years that has really plagued him overall. He missed five games last season because of a broken bone in his left foot that did require surgery. He's already missed three more games this season. And Ohio State's run game, it absolutely hurts. It lacks without him. It's average without him in the backfield. When Travion Henderson returned against Wisconsin two weeks ago, the run game instantly improved. It jumped back to over four yards per rush attempt in a game where he rushed for 162 yards on 24 rush attempts, and he added four catches for 45 yards. Uh, his importance, though, in this offense, when you combine him and Marvin Harrison Jr., for example, against Wisconsin, they accounted for 81% of Ohio State's total offensive production. That's a big deal for Ohio State. They're going to need Travion Henderson to be healthy down the stretch as the weather gets colder in the Big Ten, you're gonna need that run game to help you win a Big Ten title, which looks like it's gonna go through Michigan and their physical defense. Uh, now, if we fast forward now from the Wisconsin game to this past week's game against Rutgers, Henderson, he put up another 200 yards of total offense, 128 of that on the ground. And I know we're talking about Rutgers here, right? Everybody's rolling their eyes when I bring up Rutgers, but this is a great Shiano defense and a, a much improved Rutgers team. This isn't Rutgers from even two years ago or three years ago. This team is getting better and better. They're very disciplined on defense. And it showed against Ohio State who had early issues. When you got a quarterback like Kyle McCord though, who's still trying to find himself and he's struggling against a team like Rutgers. It is amazing to have a running back like Travion Henderson in that same backfield that can take some pressure off of Kyle McCord. And Henderson, he did that against Rutgers. He was showing off that explosive burst, hit a couple home runs in the run game, but he also showed what he could do in short yardage situations. I mean, this dude on one play, he can run you over. He can run a linebacker over. He's a big enough dude. He's a powerful enough dude. When you look at his build overall, this guy packs a punch with that explosive speed and that explosive burst uh, that we all love to see from Travion Henderson. So let's take a look at one play that exemplifies Travion Henderson's game. As I just mentioned, the speed, the explosive burst, and the power. There's a play in this Rutgers game where he shows all three of those things in one play. So on this play, Travion Henderson is gonna show you his patience and his vision in the backfield where he's just kind of allowing things to set up here before he makes a decision. He's reading where he's gonna go with the football. He's gonna bounce this run though to the outside. He's just gonna turn on the Jets here. He's running behind his pads on this play. He's gonna punish this defender at the end of the play. He's gonna pick up this first down. This is what you're gonna need in the Big Ten down the stretch. You're gonna need this consistently from him. That's why it is so important for Travion Henderson to remain healthy for Ohio State down the stretch here, especially a team that is ranked number one in the nation currently looking to win uh, a Big Ten title and compete for a college football playoff national championship. Henderson, he has it all. He's got the speed, the elusiveness, the power. He has the receiving chops that you're looking for at the running back position in today's NFL. I'm telling you what, NFL scouts and GMs, when they saw this guy as a true freshman, I can tell you uh, from my personal experience watching this guy, I knew that by his junior year, he would be NFL draft eligible and he could be a potential you know, late first round, second round uh, type of talent. Uh, I believe he can still be that if he can remain healthy the remainder of this year and keep making this huge impact that he keeps showing that he can make in this Ohio State offense and be that guy down the stretch that can carry the load and help carry this team in the fourth quarter of a game when you need to put an opponent away. Uh, let's just say Michigan and Ann Arbor on November 25th. That's going to be a big deal. That's going to do it for today's episode. Let me know what you think about Travion Henderson. I currently have a third round grade on him, but if he can keep ripping off these 200 yard games, like I said, he could jump into the second round. He could be a late first rounder. It, it just depends on where things sort of line up in this year's draft. Uh, regardless though, his film, the last two games, it has me excited and ready to slide him back into that RB1 spot in the 2024 NFL draft. All right, I wanna say thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, let us know what you think, and stay tuned for more great NFL draft content.